Maybe you've been looking to improve your job status this summer. You've been looking for a, a better job. Don't give up. Keep looking. Employment experts say, look, summer months like July and August can be really some of the worst times to do job searching. Chris Dardis is a local recruitment expert and HR professional with First Seek and is here to talk about how you can stand out from other job applicants. Chris, thanks so much for coming in. Good morning. We appreciate all your advice. All right, so you yes. say things are about to change if you're looking for a job. What do you mean by that? Well, if you've been waiting to hear back from companies and haven't heard much lately, that will change because typically August and July, um, hiring processes slow down in the Twin Cities just because everyone's hiring at leaders, the cabin. everyone's at the cabin, yeah. vacations and everything like that. So September and October are typically one of the busiest times of the year in terms of hiring. And, and budgets get set this time of year too. So. Budgets do get set. Well, budgets get set in January, February, but uh, those individuals who've been given budgets and need to spend them before the end of the year, mm -hmm. it's burning a hole in their pocket. So they got money. They got money and they want to fill those positions before the end of the year. So October, uh, September are great times to be making decisions in that All regard. Right. So what tips do you have for people who are taking that step and looking for a job? So number one, revamp your resume and make sure your resume is specific to each and every job that you apply to. So you could have four or five different resumes that call out specific skill sets that are required by the job description. So number one, make sure that you're personalizing that resume. All right. Um, number two, from a LinkedIn perspective, I feel like LinkedIn is more important than a resume nowadays. I, as a recruiter, vet 100% of my candidates through LinkedIn. So make sure that all your um, important skill sets are listed in your LinkedIn profile for sure. All right, third tip. Third tip is a lot of individuals will just apply for a role and then leave it at that. They fill out the application and then they sit and wait. You shouldn't do that. Be active. Look on your LinkedIn profile. See if you can find network contacts that work at the company that you want to work for. Reach out to them and ask for a hand. Ask if you can be introduced to the hiring manager or even if they can simply put in a good word for you. And that makes a difference, right? Even in an era where uh, computers are scanning applications for keywords and that sort of thing. You're exactly right. That makes all the difference in the world. If you can have a personal testimony, whether or not you're a good candidate, that will oftentimes be the difference. A lot of times it is who you know. Correct. And lastly, you suggest to follow up. Follow up. Follow up with a very thoughtful email um, written right after the interview. Um, you should state in that email why you're excited about the job and what you can bring to the company. Handwritten notes are great, but at the speed in which companies are hiring now, oftentimes handwritten notes get there too late. Yeah, you want to get in that inbox right away. Correct. Good tips, very good. Good luck to everybody out there looking for work, right? Correct. Absolutely. Yeah, good luck. Thanks, Chris. Thanks.